Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your Xbox controller or video game controller to work with a device like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now you need to make sure that whatever devices you're using are compatible but since this is if I'm not mistaken Bluetooth based as far as the communication and this is a Bluetooth device they have worked without any issues whatsoever. So I have uh, Call of Duty opened right now. We're just going to go to the home screen of my phone and we have our controller set up. So first thing, just to walk through from the beginning, we'll hit the Bluetooth button on my phone so that it starts looking for devices. And then on the controller, we will hold the button, allow the controller to start up. And then we're gonna put it in pairing mode by holding that button. And now you'll see that this appears down here. So we will click the Xbox wireless controller, and then I'm going to click pair. And then at this point, you'll see it shows up as a paired device. So now when I open games like Call of Duty, some of them will actually give you a notification saying, hey, we've detected you're using a controller. So then at this point, if I set this down, what I will do is I'll start a game really quickly and I'll just slide this up just so you can see the controller in action. And you'll see that they have a couple of prompts. We'll just close out of those. So at this point, without touching the phone, you'll see that the joysticks are moving and it's basically default Xbox controls. So this would be zoom, this would be shoot. If I actually had a gun to use, uh, you can run around like you would normally, jump, crouch, things of that nature. So as you can see, basically right out of the gate or right out of the box, everything works as expected. The start button acts as the back button in the phone. So you have tons of different options. And again, it works just like a, almost like an Xbox game. So uh, that's really all that you need to do. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.